Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tank's Cooks. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tank's Cooks. It's time, it's time, it's time once again. All right, you know, I haven't done any dessert item in a while. So, <clears throat> I got this recipe sent to me by Mark Bachmeyer and one of my light bulbs is flashing, blinking. And uh, Mark Bachmeyer sent me a recipe called Amazing Homemade Peach Cobbler. <clears throat> so that's exactly what I am making today. First step is we gotta cut up the peaches. So let's cut up the peaches. You could either, you could either take the, um, peel them or not. I'm not gonna peel them. So I see a lot of people need to get rid of this peach pit. And we'll just cut up, we'll, uh, probably should cut out some of this. And we'll figure that out. Is to cut the, uh, peaches into, uh, slices. Slicing up the peaches. By the way, I got my oven preheating to 375. 375. <laughs> Cut this little piece out. Cut this little piece out. Or the little area that surrounded that. All right, now here's our paring knife. We can actually cut out this area a little bit better now. Da -dee 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 -dee. Get out the peach pit, get out the peach pit. Don't want to eat it anyway. Get out the peach pit. Get out the peach pit. Oh, yeah, oh, this will make things a lot easier. Look at this. I scooped out the peach pit. And now I can use this thing and chop it up. Use them in tandem. Rock and chop. I remember the rock and chop. Chef Tony. Shout out Chef Tony. All right. Mm -hmm. This would make things a lot easier. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hopefully there's no catastrophe and I can show this in fast motion. Ripping into the peach. Getting rid of the peach. Gonna make peach cobbler. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 boing. All right, I think that's about it. We got our peaches already. We're gonna put them on the stove and heat them up a little bit. We got our peaches. I've been starting up a lemon zest here, so let's zest up this lemon. Zest it up nicely and put the lemon zest in. We're gonna be putting this on a medium heat. So let's zest up this lemon nicely. Zest, 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 zesting up the lemon. Zest, 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 zesting up the lemon. Zesting, zesting, don't be resting. We're gonna zest, zest, zest the lemon. And we're gonna squeeze a little bit of this juice in here too. <laughs> Just gonna squeeze in a little juice. Don't need a lot. 
So squeeze in the juice. Oh shit, don't want to get the pits in here. God damn, these fucking pits are everywhere. Motherfuckers. All right. Now we're gonna add in a cup of sugar. Let me dust this stuff, this excess zest out. It spilt a little bit. I'm gonna put a cup of sugar into here. And now we're gonna stir it up with our nice little wooden spoon. And we gotta heat this up so it starts to percolate a little bit. Yep, stirring that sugar, stirring that zest. Yes, that's right. That's why we never rest. All right. Now, while the peaches are heating up, we gotta mix up our batter. Mix up the batter, mix up the batter. Let's mix them up quite nicely. Mix up the batter, mix up the batter. Batter it up quite good. All right, we need one cup of flour. Where is my cup? Here's my cup. All right. So we gotta get one cup of flour. So let's get one cup of flour in here. Now, of course, you probably need a little bit more than one cup, yes, when I don't have a goddamn motherfucking sifter. So let's put one cup and just a little bit more, just to, just to make sure it is about a cup. Almost, almost time to get some new flour. Okay, we got one cup of flour. Of course, I gotta continue to keep an eye on the peaches over here. Stir them up a little bit. All right, one cup of flour. Then we put in um, one teaspoon of baking powder. So let's get our teaspoon out. One teaspoon of baking powder. Baking powder, oops, this thing hasn't been opened yet, huh? Baking powder. All right, one teaspoon of baking powder. There we go. All right. Baking powder. It says put in about a, how much salt? Half a teaspoon of salt. So let's put a, about a half a teaspoon of salt in here. Half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, we need another cup of sugar. Another cup of sugar. If I recall, this was almost a cup plus this. There we go. Good. All right, one cup of sugar. And then we need a cup of milk. So let's get a cup of milk. Peach cobbler, peach cobbler, gonna make some peach cobbler. Peach cobbler, peach cobbler, peach cobbler, boo. All right, we gotta start whisk, 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 whisking this up. Up a little bit. 
<laughs> it's all liquidy, you know, I might as well just pour the rest of this fucking flour in here. Because you know what, sifting it might be a cup anyway. I think we got our batter. Beautiful. Our peaches are getting pretty close to where we want them. So let's melt a stick of butter. One full, one half cup of butter is what we're looking for. We're gonna break this up and put it into our little microwave and melt the butter completely. All right, now that we have our peaches reaching a nice little boil, we're getting really hot. We can put our stuff together. So let's take this butter that we just melted. Oof, a little hot, a little hot, a little hot. Pour it into this baking dish like that. Beautiful. Now we're going to take our batter that we battered up before. Let's put this peaches right here for a second. Let's take our batter. Hopefully it doesn't splatter and pour it in here, nice and even-like. Use a rubber spatula to get out as much as we can out of the bowl. Rubber spatula, rubber spatula, spread it out evenly. Rubber. Spreading out the batter. All right, get the batter as even as we can with the butter over here. A lot of butter. A lot of butter. <clears throat> All right, now we put this aside. And now we pour in our peaches. Pour in peaches, and we'll also put those in pretty evenly. La la la. Do 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 do. Yes, indeed, and do 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 da 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 dum ba bum bum ba bum bum ba bum. All right, we got our spread it out as best we can. All right, sprinkle this with some cinnamon and nutmeg. So let's sprinkle some cinnamon on it. And a little bit of nutmeg. Peach, peach, peach cobbler. Here we go. Now we're gonna put this into the oven and we are going to be cooking it for 45 minutes. So let's take this and put it into our oven. 375, it's been preheating quite nicely. We've been in here for 45 minutes. Let's see how we're looking with our peach cobbler. Ooh, it looks like it burnt a little bit. But there we go. Now we gotta let this cool down before we serve it. But let's see how it tastes when it's done. Ooh, peach cobbler. Cooling down. Cooling down, cooling down. Since this isn't really necessarily a meal, and this is the peach cobbler, it's been sitting for a couple hours, let it sit, let it rest, let it stand. Let's see how it came out. Of course, uh, Mark Brockmeyer sent me this recipe. Let's see how it came out. And since it's not a meal so much, it's dessert. So time to serve dessert. Time to serve dessert. Let me. Scrape that off the side over here. Time to serve the dessert. Go flip it up. Time to serve the dessert. And you know, peach cobbler, you can always put some ice cream or whipped cream on it. I'm just gonna raw dog it kind of way. Kind of less calories that way, I guess. But let's see how this peach cobbler came out. Time to serve dessert. Time to serve dessert. Hmm. 
Not too bad. And you can be like Mark. You can send a recipe to me. NJTank99 at gmail.com. And uh, don't forget, manja manja. Bon appetit. Let's see. Now, should I serve it upside down or right side up? Whatever. But the peach cobbler came out pretty good. Thanks, Mark.